Hello! We are going to talk about our next project, which is based on the artwork of Paul Klee, uh, called Building Castles Block by Block. So we have some student examples right up over here, and these are these geometric buildings. They can be castles, they can be buildings, um, that you're going to make using these geometric shapes, so meaning using your ruler to use straight lines in order to build them. You can see there's also a sun or a moon. That's really the only curved line that should exist in your artwork. So looking at some examples from uh, Paul Klee, this one's called the Red Bridge because guess what? It's got a little bridge right here. If you look at all these different shapes that make up all of his buildings, um, you can see these are real simple shapes, stuff you've been learning since you were a tiny little baby human. So you've got squares and rectangles and triangles and the triangles build to make up other shapes and the rectangles build to make up other shapes. Um, you can also see that the color is not just a solid color. There are variations. There's dark spots, there's light spots. So even though it's a simple shape, there are interesting things to look at within each of those shapes. We also can look at this one called the three houses, because guess what? There is one, two, three houses. It's so amazing. Um, and again, these shapes are built up by, or these buildings are built up by different shapes. So there's three different triangles to build this roof. Same thing over here, same thing over here. So you can see three triangles can make a rectangle or three triangles can make, uh, was that a rhombus? I think it's not a parallelogram because that side and that side is not parallel. So I think it's a rhombus. Um, and you can still have details like doors into buildings and stuff. You can still have a sense of like the ground going back because the value changes in these rectangular stripes. Um, you can build this whole scene both in the buildings and the world around it using just geometric shapes. Uh, this one here is called the castle and the sun. Uh, you can see there's a lot more shape. It's much more complicated than the previous examples, but it's the exact same technique. It's the same building up these different areas um, by combining all of these shapes together. Uh, at this point, if you're in the class, I'm going to pause this video and click this link down here. If you are at home watching this, you are going to pause this video uh, click this link here, which also should be on Schoology, and watch the little video there. It's just a little jump into some of Paul Klee's stuff, and it talks about this painting, and that's just a fun little quick watch that you can do as a little extension of this. When you're done with that, come back and unpause me. Great, you're back! So now we can continue on to the next one. Uh, so here are some student interpretations of what the projects should look like. So you can see they've used a bunch of different shapes to build up their different locations as well. You can also see that they're using either warm or cool colors in their building, and you'll be using the opposite colors in the background. So we have these cool greens and purples and blues in the background because we have these warm pinks and yellows and orange and reds in the foreground. You can see that this brown here, um, that's actually a neutral color. So brown and gray could be used in the background or in the foreground. The same is true of black and white because those four colors, brown, gray, black, and white, are all neutral colors. So they won't affect your color scheme if you use them, no matter if you use them in your background or inside your buildings. Um, oh, I forgot to mention, you can also add flags to your buildings if you would like. Things can fly off the top of it. Um, you can have these be bridges. You can have them be windows. You can have them be looking into a courtyard. You could have a little drawbridge. You can build all kinds of designs of, for your building with these simple shapes. Um, but at this point, I want you guys to start being creative and brainstorm what kind of location do you want to do? What kind of building do you want to build? How do you want to make it? And how can you divide it into these geometric shapes using your ruler so that we get nice straight lines? Uh, so yeah, that's about it. We can move on to the next thing now. Bye.